In this short tutorial, we are going to discuss how to reset the test case status in bulk. So my test case manager is lean and simple, and as such, there's only one test case run result state that's maintained, the current state. So then the question comes up, how do I reset the test case status on all of those test cases quickly so that I can start up my next test cycle? And the answer is to use Excel's find and replace feature. And so it looks something like this. You hit Control H, and we're going to walk through this with an example. But while it's up on screen here, you uh, put in your find, say the pass, and then I want to replace it with a T for to do. And then you click the options button, which pops up these so that you can check match case and so you can check match entire cell contents. Because you don't want to replace P's everywhere. You only want to replace cells where capital P is the only value. And the only place that will occur is in the status column drop down. So we're going to run through an example of this, but that's what this trainer is all about. So here we are. We have a test case spreadsheet that's filled with a bunch of different tests, and they're in all different status. A bunch of them are passes and qualified passes. Mixed bag. There's a few to do's, a bunch of fails, blocks, etc. So how do we get this sheet of test cases ready to go for the next test cycle and basically flip all of these to the appropriate value. Maybe the appropriate value is all T's for to-do, maybe not. Well, for me, all of these qualified passes, they've been there for a while, so I probably want to switch those up and make them into T's. Okay, let's, so let's get started uh, converting all these statuses over. First thing you want to do is highlight the entire D column that has the statuses in them. We don't want to change anything outside of this column. We don't want to accidentally be changing these values. So highlight column D, control H, search and replace window. We want to find all of the Q's. We'll start with the qualified passes and we want to change those to T's for to do. Now theoretically we could probably run that, but I don't want to. I want to tighten it up even more. I want to match the case, match the entire cell contents. Now I could hit replace all, but I'm not gonna. I want to double check because <laughs> that's how I found that this new template was replacing these. So let's do a find next. Ah, it's jumping to the right one. So then we'll do a replace, 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 replace. It looks good. So I'm gonna hit replace all. And all the rest of them, 25 more, bulk converted just like that. And look at that, getting close. Now these 43 passes. Let's leave this uh, column D highlighted. Control H. Let's change all of the passes, P's, over to Q's. Leave these checked because they were a pass this test cycle, but next, te next test cycle, we could flip them to T to do, but why not flip them to a Q? Let's check, find, yeah, it's gonna work, so I'm gonna replace all. So now we have 32 Q's because all the passes were changed to that. Now it's easy to tell that what was a qualified pass is now to do, so we're gonna make sure we test it. And what was a pass is now a Q, and as we're going through and retesting, we may go, ah, I'm gonna skip it, and eh, I'm gonna skip it, in the interest of time, oh, this one's important. I'm going to retest it. So you retest it, flip it to a P for a pass. That's why I chose to change the statuses in that way. Now, what remains are blocks and fails. You could flip those to T for to do, but then you'd lose the fact that they were a, recently a fail or a block. So another thing I do sometimes is I pick one of these columns. We're going to talk about them later. And I may just go over here and put an F, 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 B, 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 and that way I can use the control up and down keys to jump. We're gonna learn about that in a different video. And, and I have the status memorized. And then I might come in here, highlight the whole column, control H, flip the F to a T, replace all. And I might even flip the B blocked to T, replace all. And there we go. I bulk upserted everything to to do except for the passes, which I flipped to Q for qualified pass. And I have the old note as I go through and retest. I look over here and go, oh, yeah, that was a fail. And if it becomes a P for pass, then I'll just delete this and get rid of it. I just work my way through them as I retest with that little note over there. And that is how you bulk change the status. Remember to highlight the column. <laughs> you don't accidentally change stuff you don't want, mean to.